Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am wonderful. I am back today with another Dollar Tree haul for you. Found some pretty cool things and something that I didn't think that I would ever find, but did. But I'm going to start with what was in my thumbnail. Did you guys see this? This is the Pro Silk Salon brand. It is a spray-in hair lightener for blonde accents. No, I won't be using this myself, but I thought maybe the grand girls, the grand ladies would like to give this a try in the summer. This reminds me of the, um, back in my day in the eighties, this is throwing it back old school. It was sun in. Did you guys ever try that? Of course we all did. It made your hair nice and yellow, but I thought this was pretty interesting. They also had another spray I think it was like sea salt. It was kind of like a like a scrunchy type spray that you would spray it in and make your hair kind of curly. I can't remember what they what it was called though in this brand, but I didn't pick that up because I don't use that kind of stuff. So I just picked this up to show you guys and then pass it along to somebody in the family. I want to read the back and see what it says. It says on the front for blonder accents, it's a six fluid ounce. Gradually lighten hair and boost highlights with Pro Silk Spray-In Hair Lightener. After shampooing and conditioning, apply the spray thoroughly to towel dried or damp hair and allow to dry in the sun for all over lightening. For highlights, spray onto selected strands and allow to dry in the sun. It says only use once between hair washing and conditioning cycles. Interesting. And this is made in Canada. Pretty interesting find. Would you guys use this? I I will not be. I have a few, few food items. I'm gonna go ahead and get this off, off the desk. I went ahead and picked up a couple of these. We really like this water and with hubby's surgery coming up, I thought it would be good to have some of this on hand. This is the pH alkaline water and it says purified water with minerals and electrolytes. And this is big guys, this is two quarts. This is a half a gallon. So we went ahead and grabbed, I think we got three of these just to have on hand, just to help, you know, with rebuilding his electrolytes and all of that after the surgery is done. And he really enjoys this. We buy this a lot in the summer whenever it's like mowing, mowing season and, you know, we're out getting all hot and sweaty, mowing the grass and all of that, especially hubby. He really enjoys this. So when I saw it, I grabbed it just, just to have, it's nice to have those things on hand. And then we picked up some iced oatmeal cookies. This is hubby's favorite cookie, I think, from the Dollar Tree. Just we didn't have any more on the shelf. So this is just going to go to have as a spare. It's the little Dutch made iced oatmeal cookies, and it's a 12 ounce. We really like these a lot. We always have them on hand. They're great with a hot cup of coffee. And they are iced. These aren't, this pack isn't super iced, but that's okay. Just helps you save a few calories, right? And then I picked these up for myself. These are the Hershey's with almonds and you get five snack size bars in here. And these come and go in our stores. We don't see them all the time. So when I saw it, I did grab two of these. They're just delicious. It's Hershey's and I like almonds. So pick these up this time. When I see when I see them, I do grab them because they those fly off the shelves for some reason. We see the regular Hershey bars, the plain, but the ones with almonds come and go. And then they had the, these. I've seen other people hauling these and finally saw them in our stores. It's a three pack of the Spice Trader is the brand original taco seasoning mix. So I've grabbed I grabbed a box of these because I love tacos. I love making our own tacos, burritos, quesadillas, all of it. The um, best if used by is March of 24. I just wanted to see what the packet looks like. Just a nice size packet, which one of a packet of this will probably be two servings for me. I usually just dump in half the pack, not of this brand, of this, the name brand. So we're going to give this a try and see how it, how it is. If you guys have tried it, let me know because I've never seen it before. And then also from Spice Trader, they had three packs of the ranch dressing mix. I thought that was great. And I like buying the ranch, the powdered ranch and mixing it in sour cream just to have as a dip. So I'm really curious to see how, how this works. 
And they also have brown gravy, which I have seen. I think I actually have it on the shelf. And they have chili seasoning. I haven't seen that in our stores. So if you guys have seen the chili seasoning, let me know, because I love chili. And the directions for this is, it says what you will need is one pouch of the dressing mix, one cup whole milk, one cup mayo, and two cups sour cream. And that is to make the dressing. And it just says mix it all together. For dip, it says combine one packet of the ranch drip dressing mix with 16 ounces of sour cream. So it does sound like how I make, make our dip. So I'm really curious to give this a try and see what the, the flavor of it is, how it tastes. If you guys have tried it, let me know. I think that's a great deal. Three packets for $1.25. Excellent. And then I needed some birthday cards. I think I've been talking about it. I have a thousand birthdays coming up here till the end of April. It's like one right after the other. So I've picked up a couple for granddaughters, grand, granddaughter, littlest granddaughter, daughter, <laughs> daughter, daughter, and for my son-in-law. <laughs> There's just birthday after birthday after birthday in this house. While I was there and looking at the cards, I went ahead and grabbed all of them for everybody. And then I do have a few birthdays, including myself, scattered out later in the year. But this is the majority of my close family right here. It's crazy. And then another thing that I thought was really cool, they have more socks out the um, like brand type socks. This was Star Wars Mandalorian. And I just thought he was cute. It's, let me see if I can open it some for you. It's the child, is that what they call him? It's gonna be hard for me to show it, but, and it says hello on the sock. I thought those were really cute. But these are bigger. These are shoe size four through 10. But I'll wear them. And these are also no-shows 4 through 10 by Nickelodeon. This is the Spon SpongeBob socks. And these are like a, a navy blue with SpongeBob and striped. This is Stitch, also 4 through 10. And stitches on there. And then another Stitch. This is more like beachy, not beachy, but you know what I mean. And Stitch is on there. Hard to show, I think that's Stitch. So I picked up some of those. I can just wear these to scuff around in. They are kind of big though, but that's okay. It doesn't say shoe size. Maybe it does on the back, it does not. But I go through socks like crazy, guys. I'm horrible on my socks. I wear them outside, wear them on the deck, on the front porch. I'm horrible with my socks. And then with Easter coming, trying to think of things to put in the littlest grand lady's Easter basket. She loves taking her baths. So we saw these and thought they were really cute. They're called a bath toy and it was all the rubber duckies in their little career uniforms. And this looks like a little sailor, a sailor duck. Here's a fireman duck and then the nurse or doctor, I guess it would be more like a nurse. I thought they were really cute. Thought she'd get a kick out of throwing these in the bathtub and, and playing with them. I have no idea if they float. Don't have any, any clue, but they're adorable. And they're a very nice size duck as well. So I put these, I'm gonna put these in her Easter basket. Very nice. And then I never thought I would find these. These are the Kendall and Kylie little mini book bags. I have no idea what these would have cost in the store, but they're Kendall and Kylie. You know, that's like designer stuff here. And it does have the tag with Kendall and Kylie. They had this one that's like the black and white check. And if you can see, it does say Kendall and Kylie in, in like pastel colors across it. Then they had this really pretty light blue with rainbows. They had the purple with unicorns. 
and then the white with butterflies. And I believe there was one more design as well, but I wasn't a fan of it and I can't remember what it was and I only needed four, so. But they have a nice zipper on. These are very tiny guys, like they're, this would be more for maybe if you're going to an amusement park or a concert or something and you don't wanna carry a big purse, you know, this is big enough to throw in a water bottle, you know, lip balm, your phone, you know, maybe a little tiny wallet with some cash, driver's license, nice straps on the back. It has the handle, the hang handle. The straps are adjustable. They seem very well made. The zippers are super nice. So I picked up one for all of the, the grand ladies. I figured this one will probably go to Harper because she's not all about the the um, unicorns and that type of thing. She she's more of a she's more of a sporty kind of girl. So pick that one up for her, and then the rest of these will go to to the other grand ladies. But I thought that was a pretty good deal. They had to be more than a dollar twenty five when they were out in the stores, and I never thought I'd find these. And there they were. Just don't ever give up with what's on your, your wish list, guys, because you just never know what's going to come to your store. I thought that was a great find. So these will go in their Easter baskets. I'm just slowly gathering up things to put in their Easter basket, but it's like right around the corner. It won't be long. So anyway, guys, that is it for this haul. I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff put away and move along with my day. I hope you're all doing well. If you like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody. And I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.